All right, what's going on, Jay here. We are back with another Yu-Gi-Oh unboxing. It's actually been a hot minute since I did one of these, uh, just because there haven't been really too many interesting sets that are coming out basically. We're here with Maze of Millennia, which has some um, controversy around it because Bonfire is in the set. It's an $120 ultra rare, which is insane. Triple Tactics Thrust is also in here, but apparently it's short printed too. So we're gonna see if we can pull anything good today. Uh, we're over here with a fork to open up our box. I know that's a little uncanny, but that's what we're gonna use to open the packs <laughs> or to open the box. <laughs> But all right, let's crack this bad boy open. Hopefully we pull something good. I mean, I don't really have too many high expectations. All right, let's crack this sucker open and see what we pull out of here. Every pack has seven pa or cards in them, which is a little different. Normally with these kind of sets, they do, uh, I don't know, like what? Five cards per pack with like 36 packs per box. Okay, I turned the lighting up for you a little bit so you can hopefully see these just a tiny bit better. Let's go ahead and start with this right side. Okay. Here we go. First pack of Maze of Millennia. I don't know how many Ultras per box you're supposed to get. Yeah, so it's a set, it's a rare set, basically. We've got Mirage Swordsman. It's a play on, like, the older uh, archetypes of, like, Flame Swordsman and stuff. We've got some Earthbound stuff. Earthbound Servant, Geo Kraken. Uh, wow, Magic Specter and uh, Bumbuku. Nice, super rare. We've got Extinguish. Oh, that's right. The Rescue A stuff is in here, too. Millennium Rele Relevation. There's Professor Goodwin in Earthbound Greater Line Walker. And then we've got Alert. Maybe I could build uh, Rescue Aces off of this set. All right. <laughs> All right, next pack. Got a Earthbound Prisoner Line Walker. So some new Earthbound stuff. Earthbound Line Walker, which is the original Earthbound Line Walker. Earthbound Prison, super rare. And then, oh, some Supreme King stuff. Hungry Eye, or Hundred Eyes Dragon, Magic Specter Toad. And Supreme King Gate Zero. You got a Gate Infinity and Gate Zero in the same pack, so hopefully that's a that's a good thing, right? Next one, let's see what we got here. Alter Geist of Prime Banshee. Uh, rare. D Synchro. Phoenix Gear Blade. All right, new Phoenix ge Gear Free card. Salamandra with Chain. Hey, like Kunai with Chain, kinda. A uh, Synchro Chase. Code Hack and Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin. I don't know much about the Earthbound cards. Maybe I'll look up a deck profile because I'm probably certain I have a good portion of Earthbound stuff. On to the next pack of Maze of Millennia. And we've got Combat Wheel. Combat Wheel. Jet Synchron. That's a nice little prayer. Uh, what is this? Kaito, uh, Kaito Terra. Like a pterodactyl, kind of. Magic Specter Cyclone, Supreme Rage, Salamandra Fusion, that equip spell. That's a new one. I've never seen an equip fusion spell before. And then we got Altergeist uh, uh, Milliseek. Nice. I suspect we're going to be coming up with an Ultra Rare soon already. All right, we've got Altergeist Protocol, Mirage Swordsman, uh, Cab uh, Cabria? Cabria? Cabrera Stone, Satellite Synchron. And then our first Ultra Rare is Trans Transaction Rollback. Nice. I think this is actually decently up there in price on CCG Player. Ultra Guys, the Hextia, and then we got Rescue. All right, on to the next pack. I gotta look up some of the prices for some of these things because I actually don't know how much anything but Bonfire and tri uh, Triple Tactics Thrust cost. Flame, Swords Dance. It'd be nice with a couple of thrust uh, emergency. Ultimate Flame Swordsman in its own box is a super rare. It's kind of funny. Hundred Eyes Dragon, Magic Specter Crow, Supreme King Dragon, Odd Eyes, and Gazelle. <laughs> sure, I'll take a Gazelle. Yeah, I don't know really much about this uh, set outside of Bonfire and Thrust. I will keep the Thrust if I pull it though, because I do need a copy of Thrust. Bonfire, that's probably going to go on eBay. Uh, Alter guys, uh, Siliquitus, Totem Pole, Reinforce, Full Armor, Crystal Zero Lancer, Number One Infection, Buzz King. Oh, this is a collector's rare. Oh, uh, sure, a Number One Infection, Buzz King, collector's rare. Then you got Earthbound Geoglyph and Alter guys, Multifaker. I remember what Multifaker used to cost a pretty penny back in the day too. That's an interesting collector's rare. Cool. Uh, I need to look that up on online and actually read it and stuff. But yeah, Number One Infection, a Horned Saurus, 
Earthbound Prisoner Groundkeeper. Hopefully you guys can see that really good. It's kind of hard to see my camera angle from up here. I'm trying my best to look though. Uh, Soka Pillar, Supreme King Gate Infinity, Magic Spectre Cyclone, Full Armor Black Ray Lancer, and Earthbound Release. On to the next pack. So that probably took up an extra Ultra Rare slot, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, Doppel Warrior, nice. Contain, Rescue Turbulence. Nice. We actually might be able to pull or build a nice little uh, cheap rescue ace deck, but it's unfortunate because now you have bonfire. You have the uh, other engine, the, the Diablo, the uh, Diablo Star engine. <laughs> Diablo. I don't know how you pronounce it, man. The one in engine, the one in engine, the Snake Eyes engine, whatever you want to call it. You got all of that to make the deck meta now, unfortunately. So if you wanted to go old school rescue ace, some of their stuff recently got hit too. We've got Earthbound Immortal Asla Asa Pisku. And multi uh Meliseek. these names are something else today man yeah it's just a fortune if you want to like build more of a pure rescue ace deck you kind of really can't compete with that now compared to the wanted engine with everything in it ultra geist marionetter earthbound line walker rescue ace hydrant this is the one i think that just went to one right sun god unification satellite synchron earthbound geoglyph and code hack so i'm noticing the trend too the ultra rares are super farther in the back same with the collector's rares We've got Jetto Synchron, Mirage, Swordsman, Synchro Chase, uh, Fighting Flame Dragon, and Drastic Draw. All right, well, we put a lot on that right side, so the left side's probably going to lack a little bit. Unless there's six Ultra Rares per box. Wait, what is this? Uh, Banish all monsters you control, minimum two, draw three cards. You cannot normal summon or special summon the turn you activate this card except Cyber's monsters. That sounds kind of crazy. Am I wrong for believing that sounds a little insane? Sure, not the ultra we still want to see, but still sounds crazy. Uh, we got Geo Kraken, Orange Saurus, Earthbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper, uh, Supreme King Crystal, or Clear Wing. Uh, there's Dark Rebellion, Alert, and Earthbound Greater Line Walker. Okay, I'll take it. Then we've got Earthbound Gr Prison Prisoner Groundkeeper. Th these names are crazy. Ultra Guys Marionette, uh, Flame Swords Realm, nice. Millennium Revel Revelation, Supreme Rage, Burferment, there we are, and Rescue. I haven't seen Burferment in ages. Okay, we're on to the left side now of this box. Let's crack these bad boys open. Ah, there he is. There's a Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm and a nice rare Tane. There's another Raccoon. Salamander with Chain. Triangle O. I remember this from 5Ds. Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin and Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. All right, on to the next one. We've got Altergeist Siliquitus. I you pronounce that. I think I pronounced it right. Altergeist Protocol. What is this thing? Color or uh, Chloralis? The what? The world? What in the world? Corliss Chaos King of Dark World. We got a Dark World card in here. Extinguish, Magic Spectre Cyclone, Gate Zero, and Salamandra Fusion. Okay, didn't know we had Dark World cards in here. We've got about eight packs, not counting this one, so nine, counting this one, eight left. We've got Emergency, Ultra Guys Prime Banshee, Earthbound Prison, Clear Wing, Reinforce, Asala Pisku, and multi-faker okay just a few more to go so yeah this is kind of mid right now but it's okay we've got d synchro doppel warrior sun god unification so we should be coming up with an ultra rare extinguish fighting flame sword okay i'll take it and then full armor black ray lancer and ultra guys hextia okay on to the next one we've got combat warrior Flame Swords Dance, uh, Salamander the Flying Flame Dragon, Stinkro Chase, Flarmer Crystal Zero Lancer, uh, Toad, and Release. Earthbound Release. We did get a Collector's Rare. Hey, I'll take it. We've got a uh, Totem Pole, Earthbound Lion Walker, Ahsoka Pillar, and then Satellite Synchron, Ring Announcer. Chimera and Odd Eyes. Now this is probably kind of give you a gist of if you want to buy this set or not, just buy whatever singles you want. Because outside of that, uh, there's really nothing too crazy in here. 
We've got Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, Mirage Swordsman, Earthbound Servant, Geo Grasha. That's a cool name. Hundred Eyes Dragon, Gate Affinity, Gremlin, and Zero. Uh, we've got four packs left. Okay. Horned Saurus, Alter Guy Siliquitas, Arcana Force 15, The Fiend, Pro, Millennium Relevation, Earthbound, uh, Geoglyph, and Greater Line Walker. Three more to go. Alter Geist and Protocol. Ooh, about to spoil it. Desynchro, Armored Exceeds, Flame or Fighting Flame Dragon, Triangle Zero, Rescue, and Ocelot Piscu. Two more to go. And this pack feels heavy. Could be wrong though. Uh, Doppel Warrior, Totem Pole, Cabrilla Cabri Stone, Salamandra with Chain, Eye of Illusion. All right, and then we got Toad and Salamandra Fusion. On to the last pack of Maze of Millennia. We got Jet Synchron, Earthbound Prisoner Line Walker, Rescue Ace Turbulence, Supreme Rage, Dragon or Dark Rebellion, Release, and Ultra Guys and Melisee. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this opening, guys. This set is a little weird. If you're only looking for very specific things, I will once again just buy the singles from this set. Uh, buying a box kinda isn't worth it in my personal opinion. There's just a lot of mid things kinda in here, you know, for the price, like this box itself was like 85 bucks. I don't recommend buying this set personally. Like it's not, a, it's not the world's worst set, but you can spend your money on better things, at least in my opinion. But the Rescue Ace engine is a lot cheaper now. The, the core of the deck is a lot cheaper than it was before. So that's definitely something to look at. That being said, though, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And as always, this has been Jay the Gamer. I will see you in the next video. I hope you all have a great day. Peace.